So I'm here with Danny Allen right now. And Danny, you're sitting number two in the points right now, is that correct? Uh, yeah, we're 10 behind Beeler. It should be a close race tonight. Hopefully it can tip in my favor by the end of the night. Awesome. So what do you have to do to compensate for those 10 points tonight? Uh, well, first of all is to get around, the, get around the wrecks and hopefully pick them off one at a time and hope he struggles through them. It's kind of all I can really bet for because it sucks that even though I can win, you can still beat me. So that's the downfall of that. So how's Carfield tonight? Uh, car's tight, just um, can't rotate through the center. That's why we struggle through qualifying. But hopefully, hopefully it's better in the race. It usually is, and hopefully we can at least get you in top five or better. I'd be happy with that. So, um, because it is tight, what do you have to do to compensate for that personally as a driver? Um, I just have to, back, as a driver, um, I have to back up the corner. And, and for, for those of you that don't know, it means let off earlier so so you can turn faster. But therefore, you got to get on the gas sooner. So that's kind of one of the main things you have to do. How's the nerves tonight, knowing that it's such a big race? Uh, there's a little bit. There's none right now, but I'm sure it'll pick up when the race starts. Awesome. All right, well, hey, thank you so much, man, and good luck tonight, dude. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm here with Mike Beeler. Uh, so, Mike, you're sitting number one on top of the points right now. Is that right? Yes, we are. Yeah, so this season's obviously gone pretty well for you. Tell us a little bit about your season so far. Well, you know, we've had a really good season. Lots of top five finishes, one win, a couple trophy dashes. Really proud of the the team here and uh, we put a lot of effort into it. As time's progressed, it seems like uh, we maybe need to get a little more horsepower under the hood to stay up with some of these guys. So Danny Allen uh, is sitting second right now. He's 10 points behind. What do you have to do to make sure that you finish ahead of him in the points tonight? Yeah, you know, we've been struggling in practice today and, and haven't been running that good. So we qualified 14th, Danny qualified 12th. There was a 10 invert. Danny starting 12th. What is that, sixth row outside, I'm 14th, seventh row outside. So we're right behind the Allen 24 car. It's gonna be an exciting night. Awesome. So how's the car feel tonight then? You know, car feels good. It's a good drivable car, just uh, need a little more speed, but I think we'll be good for the race. Awesome, so um, it's the final race. I guess it's, a, it's a kind of a big race. So nerves a little bit or? You know, yeah, probably some nerves. Yeah. I would say so, can't argue that. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, hey, thanks so much, and hey, good luck tonight, uh, final race, let's uh, see what you can do tonight. Hey, we're really looking forward to this PCS, it's really grown, it's been neat to watch it and be part of it. Thanks a lot. Awesome, thank you. Chris, uh, you've been racing with the Pacific Challenge Series for a long time. Final race, uh, what do you think of uh, your chances here tonight? Well, actually, uh, tonight uh, our chances are kind of up in the air right now. We've uh, been struggling with an ignition problem through uh, all day yesterday, all day today, and changed everything, and uh, you know, it's still still biting us right now. We've got little gremlins in the uh, ignition system somewhere, but uh, we're going to go out there. We're going to make some more changes. Hopefully we can get rid of the, uh, the gremlins. If not, uh, we're going to make the best of it and have some fun. You qualified 18th. Uh, what do you think that's going to be a positive or a negative being in the middle of the field? Um, you know, it kind of depends. You know, the, and usually with this race, there's a lot of a lot of yellows and a lot of wrecks that take place. And uh, but I think tonight uh, with the B main, you know, a lot of the guys that are on the A, they're all uh, real fast competitors. So there's a good chance it's gonna be a pretty clean race, and we could go a lot of green flag laps, or you know, everybody can get antsy in the pants. And, you know, we might see some yellows. Um, I think the the biggest thing is just uh, try to drive smart and stay out of the wrecks as best you can. What's your uh, plans on next year and the end of this year uh, concerning racing? Well, we got an open show coming up. We're uh, going to be racing at uh, Ukiah Speedway, which is another track for the Pacific Challenge Series. And um, we're going to get an engine rebuilt here in the off season. We got a new car we're going to build, and uh, you know, come back next year and try to hit all the races in the Pacific Challenge Series and uh, try to stay on top of the points. You know, this this series is growing. There's a lot of good camaraderie with uh, the teams that uh, come to this place. It's almost like a big family, and uh, it's definitely something we enjoy being a part of. And uh, definitely be back next year. I'm with Jeremy Doss, who just qualified first in the final Pacific Challenge Series race of the year. Jeremy, uh, what was your time? Uh, it was a 13-4-3-3, and second place was a 13-4-3-4, so really close field tonight. I think patience is going to pay out and just staying out of the wrecks. I think that's, that's going to pay off big time. Now they're going to do an invert. Where are you going to actually start? And why don't you explain what an invert is? I'll be starting 10th, and an invert is where you pull a pill. So say for instance I qualified fast time, I pulled a 10, so I'll start 10th, and then 2nd, 9th, 3rd, 8th, and it just goes down the list like that. And then behind, like 11th, we'll start 11th, and straight up after the 10th. So. 
So you've uh, had a lot of racing experience, uh, Jeremy. Uh, you've raced in uh, some series above this and below this. Tell me about the Pacific Challenge Series this year. Uh, you've raced it off and on a few times. Uh, have you enjoyed your time at the Pacific Challenge Series? Oh yeah, it's a great series. I mean, it's just really awesome getting the race. This is like a big, big family. Uh, and it's only getting better, it just grows. I mean, you can see the car count. Started out with like eight last year, and now we're up to 36 cars, 24 on average. It's a great series. I mean, usually it's pretty clean, and usually the racing goes pretty good. Now, the uh, important thing is we got a race between two drivers that are uh, going for the championship. How do you think that's gonna affect the way you're gonna drive? Are you just out there, you gotta go out and win, because points aren't a big issue with you. What's your strategy? Yeah, well, that, that, that's my game plan is going for the win. I don't have to play at the full point steal, but I think other drivers need to respect them and not get uh, into anything with them and just give them the racing room they need. Uh, for them, uh, they're going to have to play it out for points and see where they're at, but for us, we're just going for the win, and that's, that's what matters. Well, congratulations and good luck, Jeremy. Thank you. I'm here with Juan Pita, Pacific's Challenge Series last race in Roseville. Juan, uh, this is your first race with the Pacific Challenge Series. You had to go in the B, B main. Mm -hmm. You look strong out there. You took first in the B main. Tell me about your race car. Race car is not too bad. Uh, like I said, we ran in the B main. We got the motor last night, so we worked countless hours around the clock. Uh, got to thank my crew, Marty and Andy, and all the guys out here helping me. Um, you know, we put in a lot of effort to race out here. It's an awesome show. Bill McAnally uh, combines up with the PCS Series, and they put on a great show. So. I think there's 35 plus cars out here and um, you know like I said we, we got locked into the main main so we're gonna adjust on it a little bit and uh, see if we can't improve some spots. Now this is your first time in the Pacific Challenge Series. What, what do you think of the uh, quality of drivers in the Pacific Challenge Series? You've had some experience racing uh, late models in the NASCAR late model series. Yeah I've, I raced in the All-American Wheeling Series and also I've done a race in the K&N Pro Series and, and the guys that race in the PCS Series are really tough. Uh, you got guys like Matt Scott, Jeremy Doss, Eric Schmidt, some real hardcore veterans out here. John Moore has been around the block for a long time and uh, so it's just real fun to get back out here at the track. Like I said, I haven't been here out for years so um, I'm excited, um, just you know, pumped for the show and hopefully we can uh, go out there and do some, some uh, damage. Congratulations. Good luck, Juan. Thank you, sir. I'm here with Scott Junota of American Racer. He came out, came out here all the way from Pennsylvania to the final Pacific Challenge Series race. Uh, of course, the Pacific Challenge Series is sponsored by American Racer Tire. Scott, thanks for coming out, by the way. Thanks. It's really great to be here. Uh, it took me a long time to get out here, but it's fantastic to be here. Apparently, the Pacific Challenge Series racers love this tire. Tell us about the American Racer Tire for this series. It's a 10-inch slick. It's our EC84 with an 853 compound. It's, uh, you know, Jeff is, has been running it out here for a couple of years now, and it's had really excellent results. Repeats well. Guys like it, and it's been fairly bulletproof. What does the uh, people back in uh, the East Coast uh, at American Racer say about the Pacific Challenge Series? They're a great, great series for us. Um, we're really happy to be part of it. Um, Late model racing out in California, as you know, has has you know has struggled over the last few years, and this is really bringing it back. And uh, it's just it's great for us. Well, thanks for coming out, Scott. Thank you very much, Fred. Good to see you. I'm here with uh, three-time NASCAR k and champion Eric Holmes, and uh, who is the crew chief here for Bryce Napier. Eric, how's it feel to be uh, crew chief in here in the Pacific Challenge Series? Well, it's a pretty good day right now. Bryce has done a good job tonight and so far, and uh, it's a little bit disappointing not being here racing tonight, but if I couldn't be here racing, I'd like to be here with Bryce. He's done a heck of a job all year, and this is a big race for him. A lot of cars, and the PCS Series is a lot of fun this year. Bryce, you're how old? I'm 15. So, Bryce, you're here at the Pacific Challenge Series. You've run in one or two other type races? Uh, I've run in only two other series. And what series were those? Uh, the Stockton Series here, and that's it. So Bri uh, Bryce, you're uh, going to race against the big older guys. Uh, you excited about that or a little bit uh, worried about those big boys coming after you? Oh yeah, we didn't make the A main so we had to race the B main. Now we made it in and I, I finished second so I think I got a car for them. We'll go out there and do our best. Uh, crew chief has been setting it up great this whole time so we should have a good car. Good luck, Bryce, and uh, go after those big boys. Thank you. Pacific Challenge Series, Link 
Bible, man.